can you give us the give us the three to five minute elevator pitch for the for the product and for the business? You know, just kind of give it to us like you were like you were pitching for you know doing the five minute elevator pitch for cash or something. Sure, sure. Okay, so game game sense. I mean, we're trying to change the world as for athletes because we want to fundamentally alter how athletes train. Uh, Cognitive skills are just as important as the physical skills, yet nobody's paying attention to them. And our goal at GameSense is to give all athletes all over the world from all different sports access to a tool that trains these fast reactive decision making skills. And we can do that because we don't need VR right now. We'll get into that kind of stuff as it goes, but right now we can, we can democratize this by putting this on your phone. So somebody sure. in Africa, somebody in China, somebody in Jersey, can get better at these skills. Uh, so we created apps to build okay. this. The, the problem though, back to it, is that <clears throat> these skills develop very, very slowly. And that is because they rely on game-like experience. And it's tough to get game-like experience uh, consistently. Uh, and also you're focused on other things when you're right. uh, <clears throat> So, but nobody is even measuring these things. And these are incredibly important to your success as an athlete. Mm. And it becomes more and more important as the game speeds up. So as you begin to get into higher and higher levels, the game starts to speed up. You need to be making these decisions. You just simply don't have the luxury to sit around and think too much. You have to make up. You know, these are bam, bam kind of decisions. Right. So <clears throat> these are important skills. But again, nobody's even measuring these skills, much less training them right now. Interesting. Have you ever heard of anything like this, Steve? No, I no, I have not. When I was doing my homework on you and the and Game Sense, by the way, it's GameSenseSports.com. Yeah. When I looked it up, I, my first reaction was, "Okay, I've never seen this." My second reaction was, it, "Like Major League Baseball teams and NFL teams haven't like come up with something like this already." That was my next reaction. <laughs> That's exactly right. I'm like, really? We, I, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, how how have you not done? And we know it's there. It's important, but we haven't really, what we're doing is we're just assuming people get better at this, which they do, but very slowly. It's, a, it's kind of an incidental okay. learning. Okay. Or even, even more dangerous, people assume that people are born with this. In fact, even the, the words we use, like we say, if somebody's got a good nose for the ball, they've got good football instinct, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That uh, conveys the idea that, oh yeah, this is innate. They're born with this skill. Mm -hmm. No way, no way. You only get good at this through just, again, thousands of hours of practice, seeing how these things play out. I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the Tom Brady uh, example there and go, yeah, I'm pretty sure he wasn't born with all that stuff. <laughs> uh, no way, uh, hours and hours and hours of hours of, you know, decades of study and film. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. So, so because there's this huge gap, right? Nobody is studying this stuff. Nobody's measuring the things, much less training these. That's exactly why we created Game Sense for, is to focus solely on these fast reactive decision making. Another word we could use is split second decisions, right? Mm -hmm. Another word we could use intuition, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. These are the non con and and then you can start to think about, oh man, this goes well beyond sports, and it sure does. Mm. And you as an interviewer understand body language, you understand the yeah. tonation or tonality of somebody's voice and can kind of feel out, okay, yes. what is emotional and emotions underlying this person or what are their motives? motives right, you know? right, right. Uh, certainly military law enforcement, this applies. But right now we're only interested in, in sports until we, we can branch out further. Okay, so we, all right. So we did Game Sense. We created apps that train the brains of athletes to make faster, more accurate decisions. And do you, and how, what's the business model? Are you getting paid by uh, people that download the app? Are you getting paid by the schools? Walk me through the business model. Yeah, uh, it's all of the above. So what we've realized is we kind of cut our teeth in B2B. Okay. So going out directly to college teams, going out directly to pro teams and having them pay us. But we, again, our goal is to, mock, to, to democratize this. So we want to get it to the consumer, right into the hands of the consumer. So we have a B2B, B2C, but really our go-to-market strategy is that's evolved in the last six months is B2B to C. So we are reaching out to tournament organizers, um, uh, 
organizing like entities uh, from the, the USTA. Uh, we work with uh, Australia quite a bit, so we have a partnership with uh, Tennis Australia right now and Softball Australia, where they can now distribute it to all of their members, right? So we're working with a lot of the tournament organizers here in America who are looking for something that differentiates them, gives them a value add. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, and then what that allows us to do is go directly to their consumers. I see. Uh, and we're either trying to bake that into their costs or we can, and we'll give them, we give them steep discounts uh, because now we have, you know, 5,000 sales or we do a revenue share with those guys. I see. So okay. We feel that okay. lowers our customer acquisition cost. It, it gives us instant credibility. Um, and, and it's, it's tough to, we'd rather give our money to these guys than Facebook or, uh, mm -hmm. Google or any of those other guys that do the direct to consumer kind of traditional marketing. Are you targeting um, youth and intermediates or like, or does it matter? It, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can help everybody from the, the most elite professionals down to a 10 year old, but ultimately our market is in the youth because number one, they can utilize it probably the most. There's the biggest gain to be had. Yep. There. Yep. Um, Number two, the numbers are huge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, gotcha. we have a little saying even, and I don't know if we should probably broadcast this, but it's, <laughs> it's our saying, pros for show, youth for dough. Yeah, I mean, it would be great to have a couple of famous baseball players and a couple of teams say that they're using it, but that's, that's not where, you're, that's not where your, your revenue no. is really going to come from. You know, that's a, that's a marketing ploy, right? To just, exactly. And then that way, when you are pitching to – uh, the, the, the league president of some, you know, baseball club in Colorado, you can say, Hey, look, you know, such and such team uses this or whatever. Yeah. It's a sales piece. It's a marketing tool. Gotcha. Um, I've, inter I've, I've interviewed, uh, interviewed other, other entrepreneurs with, uh, uh, businesses or software around sports in some way. And usually the conversation goes to, you know, for this thing to make money, it's going to be youth, right? Because what, what are you going to do? You're going to sell it to 32 NFL teams. And then when you're, when you're done with that, then, then, then what, right? I mean, there's only. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Uh, 30 MLB teams, 32 uh, NFL. Yeah. Very limited yeah. market. And even college, you're looking at about 300 division one schools. Yeah. So very limited. Okay. We'd rather okay. go with a lower price point and get volume out of that. Plus, I could see um, youth. I mean, uh, a junior high, high school kid. They're going to they they they're on the smartphones all day long, right? So they're probably you know love the fact that they can sit here and test that. And then so, so if I'm a high school uh, baseball player, I download the app. I'm practicing these pitches coming at me. I'm I'm, I'm like doing stuff on my phone. Is it is it is is it scoring me? And oh, as yeah. and I, and as it scores me, do I get to like see how I'm doing against other people? How does that work? Yeah, we just actually released that. So we have a leaderboard that we put out where now you can compete against other people. Cool. And the leaderboard's unique because it's like you're going on the board. So we're going to jump you up to our second to highest level of difficulty where you're going to see for baseball and softball, you're going to see approximately one tenth of ball flight. And you're posting to that board, which is publicly mm. publicly available to everybody. Ah, ah. Now that, now that. Yeah. yeah, now that that right there could lead to all kinds of stuff. I mean, if that got big enough, then can you imagine all of a sudden a high school kid when he's sending his uh, tape and his credentials to the college because he wants a scholarship, he's also saying, by the way, here's my game sense sports score and reputation or ranking or whatever. You're exactly correct. And that yeah. is our goal is we need to establish this as a de facto yes. uh, metric. Yes. For yes. Performance. And it That's is. What, yeah. Yep. And it yep. is. We just haven't measured it yet. So just as it's like, okay, what's your 40 time? How much do you bench? Right. That's right. Good. Those are giving us clues into your success, your, your potential for success. What's but your, yeah. Still, how would you, how, how wouldn't you like it if like, you know, Alabama was like every, every athlete they talked to, they would say like, Hey, uh, what's, what's your game sense score? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> <laughs> exactly looking for it and, what's, and it goes back to the point too is like okay if i'm running and i'm going to use some, some methodology uh if i'm running a uh, 5 5 40 time which is not i mean i guess if you're a lineman it's not bad but it's yeah. not real fast for a wide receiver or a db or any of that you're pretty yeah. slow really yeah. slow um you're never going to run a four five 
you will never run a four five if you run a four a five five. But if you're not very good at this game sense, mm -hmm. you the only way to go is up. You're gonna get better at this if you put in the time. Mm -hmm. So that's that's I think really encouraging. This, yep. this is something everybody can get better at. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I agree. Yeah, love it. Okay, how many employees now? Gosh, uh, no full time employees. What we've done is we've worked with contractors only. Yep. So we have yep. um, basically five co founders. Okay. And those guys are we're working every day. Are uh, you? And I'm guessing you're you're still just putting money in, but quote quote you know, sort of burning cash, so to speak. You're not like actually making enough revenue to pay yourselves a bunch of salaries or yet or not a you? bunch of salaries, but we pay ourselves to keep the lights on. Okay. Uh, keep my wife happy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, I got to uh, stay married during this. Yeah. Um, okay. So you're making so, enough revenue. You're making enough revenue to bring a little little, little payroll for people. Absolutely. And we okay. have just been raising a bridge round uh, oh. to get us, yeah, to because we're really branching out. Uh, we've got great product market fit. People love what we're doing, but it's a really bare bones Spartan approach. MVP still. We've we've okay. made it better and better, <clears throat> but we think that if we really want to bring this to the masses, we need to make it much more appealing visually and competitive wise and gamification, all those mm -hmm. kind of buzzwords. Mm -hmm. And so our our next. Uh, milestone will be to do a complete UX UI redesign of the apps. And so you're raising some, you're raising some cash to do that, or are you passing out equity to developers or both? No, we just raised 240,000. Uh, we also just got uh, brought into nice. tech stars. Nice. Uh, much. Yeah. Yeah. So that's fun. That is, and they gave us money out of that and they're tremendous. I mean, wow. Great. Networks Great. You get from these guys is just phenomenal. Are you, uh, are you getting better at uh, asking people for cash as you move along here? <laughs> getting better. I wouldn't say it's my, my strong, <laughs> strongest suit, but yes. Uh, my other partner, Dave Rames, who even hooked us up through Paul, yep. <clears throat> that's his forte. And he's ah. great. And I'm learning a lot from him to, to do it's, this. It's a different, it's, it's different skill set for sure. Uh, I, I, yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. If you've never, if you've never done it, asking somebody to write a check for your, for your product or your company, yeah, it's uh, it's a humbling experience. <laughs> there is, it really is. Um, but you know, we have the, we're lucky that we have something that we're passionate about, and it's yeah. something that a lot of people are passionate about. Yep. It's sports. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's fun. It's it, it's sports. It's it's kind of entertainment. Um, yeah, it's a cool thing to be associated with. I think as an investor, probably for certain investors, I would think it'd be an it's very interesting thing to be associated with. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. So we're yeah. using that money. We're hiring people now. Great. Um, Good for you, man. Good. The UX UI. Uh, we're looking to do a, probably a, a seed round coming out of tech stars, uh, which would be good. Um, nice. And then we have baseball and softball currently. And then with this tech stars comes a relationship with tennis Australia, ah. which is the entire governing body for all of tennis in Australia. They also do the Australian open down there. Okay. So very we're, good. Very good. We're, we're expecting a pilot with them right now. Making some progress. Things are starting to move for you a little bit. That's good. They are. It's, it's fun. It's exciting. It's kind of weird. It's scary a little bit. You know, we're just scientists. <laughs> From recruiting and consulting firm RiderFlex, I'm your host, Steve Urban, and here is your RiderFlex episode of the day.